What's good, fam? Welcome to your daily PSA, The Black Nuna Speaks. Y'all, I'm so sorry I didn't make no video yesterday. Sunday, I was tired as fuck from Easter, but y'all saw the vlog. We had a good time yesterday. Um, I mean, I did put a video up yesterday, but it wasn't K-pop related, excuse me. But, you know, I was tired, and I had the video put on private, and then I, like, up after it uploaded, I put it on public for y'all to see. But, you know, we had a great time. You know, I brought Kimmy's family to meet my mom's side of the family and they love them they're they're a part of our family now just like i'm a part of their family and we're gonna go t over their mother's day and we're gonna have a great time like we did sunday such a it was it's, it was a great to see everybody just get along and eat and talk and it was just nice so i had a great time um let's get into the meat and potatoes of the situation now there's this picture on needs and buzz that popped up on my Twitter feed and I was looking at it and I was like okay and but then the comments below it fucking shocked the fuck out of me I'm gonna show you the picture it's of tw um, 21 CL and the black eyed peas will and I so here we go okay now is there, you know, is a picture of them just chilling out shopping because, you know, Will Mai's getting his album ready and, you know, CL and them hanging out. That, they're cool. They're like homies. You know, she's close with a whole bunch of people, but, you know, she she's homies with Will Mai. But it's whatever, you know. Do y'all think y'all cool and ain't none of my business to sit here and just say shit. You know, I think it's kind of cute because it, it's kind of nice to see other Korean people hanging out with people of different races besides other Korean people so I'm just like whoo so anyway I look at this picture and the comments were just fucked up like it's just like a mixture of being of people being racist and misogynistic and I was just like what the fuck um one comment was like if you marry a black man CL you can never come back to Korea your family will shun you and another was just like, oh, she slept with a black man to move her way up into Hollywood. And I was like, CL's well known because of this and shit like that. It's the comments were just sick and fucked up. I'm like, how dare you judge her just because she's hanging out with well, I? I'm just like, I was just like shocked. I mean, actually, I wasn't even shocked. I was, I wasn't shocked because I knew some motherfuckers go say this. I was more like, well, damn, 2013, y'all still thinking ignorant shit like this? Sit down, please. It's not even that serious. Whoever the fuck she wants to hang out with, let her hang out with them. It's not anyone's business, okay? To sit here and judge anyone, especially for bullshit like that. And the comments were just fucked up. I was just like, whoa. Some people are like full of dog shit. And if you, as, and you got to read this shit yourself. Because I was just like, wow. There is no fucking respect for anyone in the human race anymore. We're done for. We're, we're just fucked. Uh, uh, <sighs> mm, mm, mm. But you know, they're probably like, you know, Will Mine CL's like, fuck it. We don't give a fuck what folks say. We chilling, we hanging out with each other. And if nobody don't like it, they kiss my ass. And I like that, you know what I'm saying? I did outside my race. And you know what I'm saying? My, my ex-husband was white. And we used to hang out and go out. And folks would look at us like, what the fuck is going on? And I'd be like, this is my man. You just just because you ain't got one. You know? Hold your hand up high. You know, I'm not people look at you and be like, Ugh, why the fuck you with him? Because you is a different race. Sit like that. Be like, fuck you. He's mad because you ain't got nobody. You know, dust your shoulders off. And just walk the fuck on. And in this situation, see, I was like, fuck that, please. Paparazzi. Picture. You know, so I was just like, whatever. That this Y'all go read the comments. I'll put the links to the, um, the sites below so y'all can see what I'm talking about because the comments are pretty fucked up so yes all right next story this is the shit that got me so hot in the face now glam girls be ambitious I love those girls if you don't know who they are it's Viso, Dahi, Parjian, and Zini. Trinity used to be in the group but she left for personal reasons but you know glam I love those girls Zini is my girl my girl that girl can, like, she's like a female b-boy. I mean, that girl can break dance her ass off. But anyway, they made a video yesterday saying, joking around because April Fool's Day. It was April Fool's Day, excuse me. And they were joking around talking about, we're no more in the billboard charts. 
ha 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 April Fool's Day. It was cute. Some motherfucker, and it had to be some bitter ass soul, of course, puts on a video and she deleted her comment, but I went back to her channel to look what she put. This bitch was like, like, those untalented whores will never be number one. SNSD forever. Are you fucking serious? I am so tired of these basic bitches that always think when a girl group comes out, especially a really good girl group like Glam, a good ass rookie group like Glam that comes out, they always think they're either copying off of SNSD or 21. Sit the fuck down, drink your shut the fuck up juice, send your shut the fuck up chair, and turn your face and sit in the shut the fuck up corner because you are non-factor. Okay? These girls are not trying to copy off Girls Generation or 21. Not every girl group is trying to be like that. They know they can't get up to that level yet. They're still rookies. They understand this. And I'm just like, this, it, it made it so funny. The songs were like calling the video like, we are so disappointing in you of being a song. You make us ashamed to be a song. They was getting on her ass. Usually, I'm not like, you know, I don't like, okay, songs, songs like, they, 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 woo, they're brutal. They're more brutal than banners. Because banners are like fucking psycho as shit. But anyway, you know, I'm not so cool with all songs. Not all, not all of them, but some of them, you know, you say some shit, they'll try to bust your ass. But, you know, the so these songs, not all songs are bad, but these songs, they were like, they were straight cool as fuck. They were like, you can't be disrespecting people like that. And they were just like getting in her ass. And I was like, what? What? I loved it. It was great. And I'm just like, you always got some folks. Okay, everybody got their little fat. They got their fandoms that they represent. You know. But you always got that group of bitter motherfuckers that got to come outside the fandom and pop the gums off. Flat, fat mouthing. And fuck it up for everybody else in their fandom. Don't embarrass your fandom like that. Chill the fuck out, okay? You got Shaw Walls fighting against L's. L's fighting against Soshis and Sones. Fucking Banners fighting against everybody. Hottest fighting against A pluses. I'm just like, holy shit, what the fuck is going on? I'm, I'm just like, what the hell is going on? It seems like everybody in SM fandoms fight each other a lot. I'm just like, uh, what? Recently, Black Jacks was fucking fighting. Fighting against VIPs because that shit with G-Dragon last week at his concert. I'm just like, oh, can we all just get along like Rodney King says? Please, shit. But anyway, it, Glam is not trying to be like SNSD. They got their own shit going on. And, you know, there are just some songs out there that is always going to pop their mouth off. Like in my video about how SNSD was trying to say they want to be artists now because they want to try to be like G-Dragon. Some bitch was popping her mouth off and I'm just like, shut the fuck up. Sit down, okay? Ain't nobody got time for that. But it was good to see the songs take up for their fandom and be like, hey, don't be fucking it up for the rest of us because you're bad. Yeah, I, I like that. But Glam is glam is the bomb. They're like, a, I don't like a lot of girl groups, like a lot of rookie girl groups, but this, the Glam, they, they're, they're good. They're good. And, you know... I, you know, folks be coming on their shit, just be talking mad shit. I'm just like, why are you mad? Are you mad? Did your mama hug you as a child? Did, did your mama like you as a child? I, I don't think they did. But anyway, I got to go. I hope y'all had a great day. And I like to say something. Um, if you're not new to me yet and my humor, you know, it takes some time to get used to because I am sarcastic and. You know, I'm an asshole at sometimes, and you know, my humor is just different from others, and you know, it's just me, what I do. If you're new to it, it's okay, you know, you just, it takes some time to get partial to, and if you've been with me for a minute, you know, but if you've been with me for a minute and you still don't know how the fuck my humor goes, you need to take your ass back to school so my videos understand, because I do not like to answer questions that you know the answer to already. I mean, I don't like to explain the oblivious to people. It irks the fuck out of me. And I'm just like, listen, I like I made that shit on my Twitter last night. 
If you can't understand what the fuck I say and my sense of humor, then we have a problem. I mean, I still love you, but at the same time, you got... The... <sighs> Sometimes it's just hard to explain. But, you know, I do appreciate y'all and I love you. But all the new subscribers and followers and stuff, I, I love you. But I'm going to tell you like this. You are not followers or subscribers or fans. You are family. When you come here, you are family. I don't like none. I don't like fan. The name. I don't like the word fan, fam, or uh, excuse me. I don't like the word fan, subscriber, or follower. It's just too narcissistic for me. You know, it's just so big headed. Fam. I call you fam because you're my family. We got a big family. Come on in. Have you a seat. Go in the refrigerator. Get you something to eat. Don't use it by my toilet paper though. Don't fuck up my toilet. Basically, that's how I am. But you part of the family. And thank y'all new fam for coming in and supporting me. I love you guys. And, you know, come on. Have a good time. <sighs> I smell K-pop wretchedness in the air. It is my duty, as the Black Nuna speaks, to get the wretchedness when it comes. Let's see who my victim is tonight on Twitter. <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about. Y'all have a great Tuesday. I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right, all right. Let's get that ratchetness and K-pop. Love, peace, increase it. Talk to you later. Bye.